more. According to a new report, nearly nine out of 10 surveyed officers don't feel like they were supported by the chief during recent protests and unrests in the city. The survey was recently published in the LA Police Union's magazine. And at least one officer claims the problems within the department do not end there. KTLA's Christina Pascucci live in downtown LA with more on that survey tonight. Christina. Micah, share good evening to you both. Now, this survey involved about 2,700 of LAPD's 10,000 officers. They are the ones who responded to this. And as you reference, we're now hearing from one high-ranking officer who wanted to tell us what he sees as the biggest problem within LAPD, but he asked that we disguise his voice because he feared retaliation. It's the lowest I've ever experienced. A high ranking officer who worked Central Division and wants to remain anonymous spoke exclusively to KTLA about what he calls LAPD's dwindling morale. And what do you attribute that to? I attribute that to officers believing that they are not supported by their command staff. His concern mirrors the result of a damning new survey released in the LA Police Protective League's magazine. It reveals a disenfranchised force after a pandemic, riots, and calls to defund police. The chief had uh, failing marks. He had uh, a 80, 86% uh, uh, disapproval rating, and his command staff had about a 89%. Part of the survey was if, if you were eligible to retire right now, would you leave the department? And 90% says yes. Every single one that I've talked to would, would prefer to retire. I'm not sure people realize the fallout of losing uh, hundreds of officers. What do you think is the single biggest problem that LAPD faces right now? Incestuous relationships at the top not based on competence. Our source says a few at the top are tarnishing the badge, while the LA City Council, who recently cut $150 million from the LAPD's budget, is making matters worse. Homicides are up 25%. Uh, shootings in the city of Los Angeles are up 26%. So there's a lot more violent crime going on in the city. And uh, there's just a lot more victims than ever before. We have seen increases uh, that we're seeing here across the country, and, and we believe much of it is part of the turmoil and the uncertainty and the stress involved as an attribute of this pandemic. In response to the survey, Chief Moore issued a heartfelt apology to his 10,000 officers and then said this. I'm hurt by their uh, disappointment in me, uh, but it also, uh, I'm a believer that you, you own it, you step forward and we move into uh, the, the future. We are in a time where the combination, severity and persistence of the challenges we face are unlike any other time in our existence. Some are defending the chief. I'm glad the chief recognized that he has to be more public and he has to be more vocal about his support with his police officers. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the mayor and the city council follow. The mayor and the city council president were unavailable for comment today. We should note that this survey was one of three conducted by the police union. They also surveyed their officers to see what their opinion is of the mayor and the city leaders, as well as the police commission. 